students and seekers of general truth. In this video, we will look at two examples using the, of how do we use the binomial theorem. Uh, we talked about the binomial theorem at length already. So we want to expand these expressions into standard form. In other words, just multiply them out. So we have here x plus 3 quantity to the fifth. So when we expand it, this is going to be 5 choose 0 x to the fifth. 3 to the 0th plus 5 choose 1 x to the 4th times 3 plus uh, 5 choose 2 x to the 3rd times 3 squared plus uh, 5 choose 3 x to the 2nd 3 to the 3rd plus 5 choose 4, x to the 4th times 3 to the, excuse me, not to the 4th, x to the 1st times 3 to the 4th, and then finally 5 choose 5, x to the 0th, 3 to the 5th. So now we have to do some, just um, some number crunching here. 5 choose 0 is just 1, so that's just x to the 5th. 5 choose 1 is 5 times 3, so that gives me 15, x to the 4th, plus 5 choose 2, which is 10, times 3, which is 90. Sorry, 3 squared is 9, 10 times 9 is 90, x to the 3rd. 5 choose 3 is also the same thing as 5 choose 2, so that's going to be 10, times 3 cubed is 27, so we get 270 x squared. 5 choose 4 is just going to be 5, uh, but I have to multiply, so this is 5 choose 4 is 5, times uh, 3 to the 4th, which is um, 81, so 5 times 81 is 405 x to the first power and then finally 5 choose 5 is 1 times 3 to the fifth is 243 so there you have it um, a fairly straightforward application of the binomial theorem. We just have to be a little bit careful because we're raising a number to a power here, and then we have to then we take that and we multiply it by the the combinations that we have here in front of each of those values. All right. Well, continuing with our work here, we have a similar situation with the next problem, and but I'll show you some of the um, subtleties and the difficulties of this type of question. Okay, so we're going to follow the same pattern here. We're using the binomial theorem. And I want to say here that, you know, really this right here is A, right, and this Y here is B. Okay? But mainly I want to explain that A here is this entire term. So when we expand this out, it's going to be, of course, 4 choose 0, A to the 4th, but that entire term, so 3x squared to the 4th, y to the 0th plus 4 choose 1, 3x squared, that entire term, to the 3rd, and then y to the 1st, plus 4 choose 2, that entire term, 3x squared to the 2nd, y to the 2nd, and then finally, uh, sorry, not finally, but 4 choose 3, uh, the entire term 3x squared to the first, y to the third, and then finally 4 choose 4, this term here to the zeroth, and then y gets raised to the fourth. So now we have to do a little bit of simplifying. So 4 choose 0 is just 1. 3x squared to the 4th is 3 to the 4th, which is 81. x squared to the 4th, which is x to the 8th, plus this is 4 choose 1, so that's 4. And so this here is, this here is just 4. Um, 
3x squared to the third is 3 cubed. And actually, I'll, I'll write out this, this, the rest of this. 4 times, this is 3 cubed, which is 27x squared to the third, so x to the sixth, plus uh, 4 choose 2. Okay, so 4 choose 2 is 6. 3x squared squared is 3 squared, which is 9. x squared squared is x to the fourth. And then we have, oh, I forgot some y's here. So actually this term here, there's a y that should be there. And then this term here, there's a y squared that should be there, this y squared. Okay. Uh, 4 choose 3 is 4. 3x squared to the second, to, to the first is just 3x squared times y to the third. And finally, 4 choose 4 is 1. Um, 3x squared to the 0 is just 1 plus y to the fourth. And now we simplify. So we get 81x to the eighth plus uh, 4 times 27 is 128. No, uh, excuse me, it's 108. x to the sixth, y plus 54, x to the fourth, y squared, 4 times 3 is 12, x squared, y cubed, plus y to the fourth. Okay. So there you have it, the final answer expanded out to standard form. Um, with the cases where you have a more complex term, so this this term here is already a combination of a couple of different factors. You just have to be careful that we are raising the entire factor to a particular power. As always, keep working hard. Ask for clarification whenever you need it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.